النصر المبين as the title of the Yemeni army's recent operation in al Baida province in southern Yemen. The spokesman of the Yemeni army said armed forces backed by local tribes took control of all areas seized recently by Daesh and Al-Qaeda terrorists. He added that hundreds of terrorists were killed and wounded in the confrontations. He also hailed the role of the local tribes for their permanent support to the Yemeni army. Yemen's tribes are a safety valve and are always participating in supporting the confrontation fronts financially and with fighters. And this is what happened in al Baida. All Yemenis are aware that the Takfiri groups are American tools seeking to weaken Yemen. In fact, the Saudi-led coalition's air forces have supported the Takfiris with dozens of air raids during the past few days. Our military operations will not stop and will continue until the liberation of all Yemeni lands from the foreign presence and their tools of terrorist groups. Earlier this week, a U.S. plane carrying 300 American soldiers and officers along with 12 Black Hawk helicopters arrived in Aden. Military experts believe the arrival of U.S. forces is aimed to support terrorist groups in al Baghdad and Marib. The U.S. State Department spokesman had stated that they have got tired of talking about peace with Yemenis. And this is a clear message that the U.S. will use its military cards by supporting terrorist groups. And the arrival of U.S. officers at Yemeni lands confirms Washington's prominent role and direct presence in the military operations of al Baida and Marib. These moves prove that the U.S. and Britain are running the war on Yemen, while Saudi Arabia and the UAE are nothing but tools. For months now, the Yemeni army has been intensifying its operations to liberate the strategic city of Marib from the Saudi-backed forces. The old rich province of Marib is of paramount importance as it is the last stronghold of these forces in northern Yemen. Yemen's tribes continue to play a major role in expelling the invaders from their country. People here believe that all Yemenis should fight together if they are determined to liberate their occupied lands from any foreign presence, including the Saudi-backed forces and the U.S.-backed terrorist groups. Reporting for Press TV, Abdullah Tifloshali, Sana.